the world's easiest card trick that literally anyone can do with a no skill coming right up. What's up guys? Welcome back to Sean Teaches Magic. Today I'm going to be teaching you the easiest card trick in the world. Your grandma can do it. Your great grandma could do it. Your great 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 grandma could do it. You know it's easy if I, I can do it because I, I suck at magic. Like why do I even have this channel? And without further ado, I'm going to show you the performance and then the tutorial of the world's easiest card trick. So what you got to do is you just have a deck of cards and you can even have the spectator shuffle it. They can mix it up literally as much as they want. They can inspect the deck. It literally does not require anything crazy so once they do you can show them the deck of cards you can say hey look it's a fully shuffled mixed deck of cards and what i want you to do is i want you to cut the cards wherever all right so they're going to take the deck of cards they're going to cut it and you're going to say look if i look at the fourth card down from here it's going to magically tell me what the fourth card down is from here here we go i'm going to take a look one two three four i'm going to take a look at the fourth card down all right awesome and now i know that the fourth card down from here is the ten of spades one two three the fourth card down is the ten of spades and you know what we can do it again i'll literally do it again immediately i'll take it right here i can shuffle it up a little bit you can mix it up as much as you want and then you tell them cut the cards whenever all right cool the fourth card down from here will tell me the fourth card down from here so i'm gonna look one two three four let me take a look awesome that tells me that the fourth card down from here is the two of hearts one two three four and i could do this forever literally as many times as they want they can cut the cards wherever all right the fourth card down here will tell me the fourth card here all right one two three four let me take a look awesome and then this tells me that this is the two of diamonds one two three four just like that and that is the world's easiest card trick now let's learn it when i tell you that there is nothing to learn from this trick like genuinely it's so easy let me teach it to you so like i said you can genuinely have the spectator mix up the cards as much as they want they can shuffle it as much as they want they can have it a big mumble jumbled mess it doesn't matter this is all you have to do all you need to do is memorize the fourth card from the top so in this case the ace of hearts now i know what you're thinking sean how in the world are you going to know what the fourth card is from the top well let me explain so you have them mix it up right they mix it up as many times as they want. And what you do is simply, before you get into the trick, you're gonna turn over the deck and you're gonna say, look, there's so many different cards and they're all mixed up. And what you're gonna do is when you're spreading through the cards and showing it, you're just gonna look for the fourth card down. So in this case, the five of spades. That's all you're gonna do. You're gonna spread through the cards and you're gonna look, and then you're gonna spread all the way to the end and you're gonna memorize one, two, three, four, the fourth card down. Now I know it's the five of spades. So no matter how many times they mix it, shuffle it, whatever, you just end off by saying, look, you shuffled it so much, you can see it's a big mess. And then I, as I go to the end, I memorize that card. So now I know it's a five of spades and that's all you need to do literally. I'm not joking, that's it. You now know that the fourth card down is the five of spades and now the trick is ready. You're gonna tell them that you're gonna have them cut the cards anywhere and wherever they cut to is gonna tell them the fourth card down from here. In reality, you already know the fourth card down. You know that the fourth card down is the five of spades, but this is how you get into it. You say, hey, I'm gonna look at the fourth card down from here. So you go one, two, three, four. Whatever this fourth card is, doesn't matter you already know this but it's important to memorize this so i'm gonna look all right i see seven of spades now i'm thinking seven of spades seven of spades the reason being is because you're going to use this to set up the next part of the trick so you then pretend you said okay i looked at this so now i know that the fourth card down is the five of spades obviously you already knew that one two three four and then you reveal and you say oh my god i knew it was the five of spades but because you looked at the fourth card down here it sets you up for the next part it's literally that simple so now you already know that this one is the five of spades you say okay we'll do it again you now know that the fourth card down from here is the seven of spades so you're going to take that you're going to place it on top and you can literally do it again because you already memorized this card so it's like a never-ending magic trick you have them do it again they cut you said okay awesome i'm going to look at the fourth card down from here one two three four all right nine of hearts you now memorize the nine of hearts and you say wow now that i know that this card is i know that this is the seven of spades and one two three four it is now the seven of spades and then you can keep going again because you now know that this is the nine of hearts and so on and so forth it literally just starts off with the shuffling of the cards and then when you show it to the spectator you just memorize the fourth card down already once you know what the first card that is four cards down once you know what this is this fourth card you can now do this trick forever so i know it's the queen of spades after they mix it such a mix up deck of cards i'm looking okay cool i see queen of spades i say cut the cards no matter where you cut the cards i'm gonna look at the fourth card down from here one two three four and although i know the fourth card down here is the queen of spades it does matter i look jack of hearts okay cool i'm now remembering the jack of hearts and i say wow since i looked at that i know that this is the queen of spades oh magic cool let's do it again then this goes back on top you now know that the fourth one down here is the jack of hearts you can have them do it literally again one two three four i'm gonna look at this okay and that tells me that this is the jack of hearts bang 
It's literally a never-ending self-working magic trick that can warp any deck of cards. And if you can't do this, then you should quit magic because this is so easy. And like I said, your great grandma's dog, best friend's uncle's cat can literally do this. So I hope you learned something, even though it's so easy, and go entertain your friends. Anyways, that is it for this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you smash that like button down below. I swear to God, I'm watching you. If you haven't smashed the like button and the subscribe button, I'm gonna find where you live. Okay, maybe I won't do that, but still, go do that. Also, if you wanna learn 10 more amazing magic tricks, magic tricks that I perform in the real world that also have fooled Kevin Hart. I'm not joking. This is true. Go click the website in the description. I'm teaching 10 magic tricks for free. All you got to do is sign up. But anyways, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you all in the next one.